So we're gathering here today with the support from Goldfields, the Department of Mineral Resource and Energy, and ourselves to test a 3,000 meter metalliferous mobile rescue winder. This winder started off in 2012 when we identified the need in the South African mining that we need some kind of mechanism to rescue people should something in a shaft happen to the depth of 3,000 meter. If you look in the world about the 10 deepest mines, eight of them is in South Africa, and that's why we need something like this. And it took us a long time to get something like this developed. It was developed in South Africa, built in South Africa, so it's locally and proudly produced here. This is an ideal device if something happened at 3,000 meters to get people out. It's a, got a capacity of six rescue team members or six people, the load which you can load inside the rescue cage. It travels unguided at a speed of 1.5 meters per second and to a depth of 3,000 meters, which makes it ideal for our deep mines in South Africa. Today is a very special day for us. Uh, we have to collaborate with mine rescue services. South Deep is unique that it's the single uh, deepest single drop shaft in the world, uh, just on 3,000 meters. And so mine rescue services are here today uh, to uh, license and test this winder down to 3,000 meters, which puts it within reach now of any mining operation in South Africa will be able to use this technology once it's licensed. I think why it's important for us is our, our most important uh, job every day is to make sure that all our people get home safely. In the event of a, a, a tragedy or an accident where we can't remove our people from underground, this is going to give us a means to rapidly do so. Uh, we all know about the golden hour and uh, the sooner we get people rescued, uh, the better it is uh, in terms of uh, their health and safety. This is an insurance policy that we hope we never have to use and uh, so it's worthwhile investing in. I'm here to actually observe the rescue winder that the mining industry has actually uh, brought to us. We thank the companies that have actually sponsored uh, the building of this uh, kind of system because it is going to help us. It shows the capability that South Africa has in terms of engineering and, and many other skills. The capability from an engineering front is amazing. It can go 3,000 meters below ground um, and uh, it can assist us in an unlikely event of an emergency. Uh, so from a safety perspective, you, you will be able to still get people out if they are trapped in a shaft for whatever reason. So it gives us great comfort to know that there are tools, there is capability, particularly in South Africa, of this nature. And I must say that this is a uh, first for the uh, industry, this is a uh, first for the, uh, um, for the country. Um, I'm very much excited that we were able to uh, be selected by uh, Mine Rescue Services to assist with the, um, the licensing and the uh, um, sign-off of this uh, you know, um, cage. It excites me um, yeah, um, to say that we'll be able to uh, at least uh, you know, uh, afford you know, the uh, industry in a uh, instance where there is a need to uh, um, rescue the uh, people. Safety is uh, always uh, you know, fam for foremost uh, you know, uh, in the industry and that is why we are excited with this uh, um, innovation.